Hey guys, how's it going? Jason here again. So, we're going to take a break from working on the MX Day for a bit to do some MOT work on the L Grand. So, rust wise, in this driver's side front, it's pretty good, apart from behind the shock, there's a wee hole there that I made. Um, so, we're going to take the shock out and we're going to make some shock spacers. So, we'll have the shock out, we can do that. The rear, this is the worst rear. You'll see that I've made a hole all around here. Here and then I guess a bit over here as well. This here is going to be the worst bit in the whole car at the moment. Uh, but I say, once it's jacked up, it's going to be pretty easy to get into there. Uh, there we hold there as well. And then there, which was already there, but then I picked that. That's pretty rotten right here, so I'm going to cut that out. Um, Rest in here is pretty good. So this sill, I installed my screwdriver, so I'm going to replace this bit here and here. So we're going to just do it completely from here all the way over there. This bit here was done a few years ago. Um, underneath, all oh, underneath here is pretty good. There's not really much rust, surface rust here and there, but nothing. Rotten apart from this sill, and around at the back here, you have the same sort of holes around this area, and then over there as well. So, this stuff's gonna be a pretty easy patch, um, so I'm not too worried about that. There, kind of annoying that to do it in the first place, but that's what you get when you drive old, don't want to say turds, but. Kind of turds. Um, yeah, arch is starting to go across to here, and there's all tidied up as well. But yeah, overall, not that bad considering I haven't done any maintenance work to, in this car in a while, so I'm not really too annoyed about this. Uh, what else do we do? We got some new tires. So I bought some new wheels. That I so I bought some new wheels that haven't arrived yet. These big boys 215 80 15s. We're gonna fit our new wheels and hopefully we can make these fit. Don't see why we can't, but we'll have to cut stuff in the way. We will. So I think I'm gonna start in that rear driver's side and get the rod cut out. Got the wheel off then, and there'll be a bit of trim right here as well that I took off. Um, actually quite pleasantly surprised hit with the axe to see how big I can make the holes so it's, yeah they're pretty big like but it's not the end of the world um, that's it. all flex up pretty nicely I'm gonna have to actually pull the carpet off I think I don't want to I'm welding this up so I don't set anything on fire but Could be a lot worse. So, yeah, we'll get this cut out. And how far we'll go. Depends how rotten it is over here. Quite a good bit there. And here is. Rotten about here and about here and here, it just stops about here. So, yeah, this isn't gonna be too bad at all, right? I'm gonna get my podcast on and then we're gonna start cutting things out.
So that's that ready for welding then. Um, I don't know where to cut this out or not, and then just bring the whole thing down to this lip and cut it off all the way around. Uh, I haven't decided yet, but that didn't take very long at all. Excellent. Alright, let's get some patches cut. So I'll have a bit of steam here. Curve it. here as well but I think the first thing we'll do is get these welded in. Are these tack welded in? So I don't have a big gaping hole here. Woo! Right. Have this slid up in here now. Um I am gonna do is press on here like that. And I'll put a tack weld here. Maybe put the tack weld there first of all. Good there, and then put one here. Excellent. And then it's pretty tight around there, so I'll put one here. And then what I'm doing now is see if we can push that in like that. Are going the inside and push that out so possible. We've got a few more tack wheels in here. Oh. The beauty about doing thin must be body work. My dollars and nails oh burn three. That's literally on there now, I haven't welded this bit yet. Um, here I had a bit of technical difficulties. I forgot to take this sign gen off and then as soon as I started welding it, it started melting through the welds. So there's three or four passes in that there to try and get a bit of bait to it. But yeah, it's on there. Um, I'm gonna do this bit here from the inside because it'll be a nice easy weld. And then there's a couple of pinholes around here and then you finish this welding off. But yeah, that's patched on there anyway um i'll say this here is kind of annoying i'll remember to take that off the other side one can do the other side Patched up now. Um, last thing we're gonna do is this bit here. Um, so we're gonna bring a patch that comes down here and it'll come around here a wee bit. Try and fill this gap in as well. Um, I also finished this patch off on the underside here. I did it from the inside. And then how I got this all lined up properly is I went on the inside and did a few tack wells on the inside to push that down to where I wanted. It. Um, as I said, it doesn't look very nice, but it'll be, once it's flat wheel, it'll be alright. And uh, covered in seam sealer. But yeah, we have some strength back in there. After a little CAD work then, we have a patch that fits in there nicely-ish.
onto this posterior side rear arch stand. It's not as bad as the other side, um, but it's still pretty bad. So I'm going to cut this out here, try to clean this up, see how thin it is. Um, there are these pads. But yeah, I got cut up. Oh, the joys of old cars. I would have much preferred not have to do any of this. That's the rear passenger inner arch done. Um, and I'm gonna hit the lips here with some uh, rust converter and then probably get a filler on just to tidy it up. And then once we're finished all the welding and everything, gotta go underneath and just kinda just tidy up the chassis, just give it a wire brush and give it some paint. So it's not rusty looking. But I think it looks quite good. I think you can obviously tell it's been welded, but at least it's solid now. Okay, on to the next one. On to the front passenger side now. I'm working on two videos at once, doing the lift kit, so now I've got the shock guide, it's better time to do this here. So, it's a weird place to have rust. So, gonna disconnect these ABS wires, move them out of the road so I can get an HV patch in here. And yeah, look at that, weird. Okay, I'm gonna get that cut out now. I wasn't originally planning to come this far across, but there's like two skins there and they were just pretty bad. Like on the inside it wasn't so bad. Um this last bit of cut out here, I probably could have just left that there, but for the sake of two inches I might as well just replace it all. Made a plate out of three mil flat now. I can either put it on the outside like that, which looks alright, or I can put it on the inside. that I might do that there yeah I'll do that what's that look like for me isn't it? Yeah, look a bit random but the metal sitting in there but I say there's gonna be an airbox now there so you're not gonna see it and it's gonna be the best job for welding this way
In hindsight, they should have put that patch on the outside because there's two skins here and it was like, you know, there's a big gap here that I could just about fill and then over here had a bit of a gap as well. But I managed to get some sort of welds in there. That definitely not going to fall off, that's solid. So I've got to get some under seal now, cover that under seal, then we start putting stuff back together again. So I went around the wee rusty bits for the flat wheel and it all seems to be solid, so I'm going to wipe down with some thinners and then get a hit with some black paint just to tidy up in here. I'm just going to give a quick coat of black to tidy it up. Now that is one fresh looking wheel arch. On to the driver's side front now. Doesn't look as bad as the passenger side. And it doesn't work its way all, all the way over to here. But it is further over to the side, so. about here um, try and leave that there alone so we cut it about there um, yeah get that cut out now So, seems like an awful odd area for that to rust, but it is rusted there anyway. So, made this patch up. This time we're going to put it on the outside like that. See if any hassle of trying to get in areas and stuff it just works out better. Onto the passenger side sill now, we have a hole here that I hammered through, that's one here. And then on the other side, you can see there's a bit there, and this bit here, you can see past that bit two years ago. Um, and then there two years ago. But yeah, quite impressive how much this stain actually rots, but oh well, that's what it is. So I'll get this cut out now. That was a lot more rust than I was expecting to see in here. Um, if you're going to redo this professionally or make it look good, um, you would try and get this sill line roll in it. But I only want this to last a few more years. Like it's not going to be, it's never going to be a mint on a car or whatever it is so what i'm gonna do is you use this three mil plate and we're gonna go here we're gonna weld that on there like that and i'm gonna put a kink in it i'm gonna kick it fold in it even i'm gonna fold that end up and that will be like out there it'll, it should be strong enough i think once that's in there and folded up we'll then hammer this down to it and we'll put another one in there yeah, that's gonna look pretty good. Well, it's not gonna look good, but it's a size good covers it anyway, so. This is literally just so it's not rotten. Or, doesn't look rotten. Or whatever, who cares? Right, so I'm gonna get this folded now. Um, I've got tail in the fold, and then we'll come back to you.
time has now come to weld this on here like so. Um, I think at some stage, depending on how long I'm going to keep this, but I might just replace it with a box action still. But we'll get this welded in now, at least tack welded in, and see how it looks. That's the cinema all welded up. Gonna hit it with a flat wheel again and slap some seam sealer on it. So that doesn't look too bad now, it's all painted up. You're not gonna see it anyway, it's gonna be a side skirt covering it. But I figured some burr mountain paint would be good. And on the inside. You can see I did these patches a few years ago. There's the patch I did today. And they ended up again patch there. So, yeah. I'll say next time, if I'm not gonna scrap it, I will probably just cut this all out and replace it with a box section. But for now we have a solid sill. Where's my testing axe? That's all pretty good. Did it well before. Very pretty rotten now. Apparently the patch head actually goes in is rotten. Here, new pots there, and oh yeah, look at that. Pots along there and there. Okay, so. Pretty bad. I'll probably just patch right from here to there because I don't see a point in putting two patches in. That's neat.
I've got a lot of that cut out. Um, they're right. I probably should be rebuilding this whole inner bit here. But as I said before, no, oh, in fact, this fell down the last that much longer. Um, I said I might in a year or two replace this whole thing with a big bit of box section. But for now, we're just gonna cut out as much of us as I can get there. And I made the pots, we're gonna sit in there like that. And then I will make a bit for here and here. Been a couple of weeks now since the big L ground passed the MOT. I'll see if I can show you the welding here. So we have that plate there, and then the sill we have all along here. I did go underneath here and do a lot of cleaning up stone chipping, I just haven't got the front bit done yet. And this is the passenger side. Rear arch. The driver's side rear. A lot of mud in here now already. And then there was Can't really 
you see this one? Uh, there was a few extra ones that didn't record. So there's one up there. Uh, there was one somewhere else, I can't remember. So I went up with an undercarriage out with a needle gun, a wire wheel, then I hit it with some real oxide primer, some stone chip, some new brake lines there too. But yeah. Thanks for watching.